and now we're gonna go down into the other section of this kind of curvy retaining wall area if you will and this area is much worse I have to be much more careful though because again I definitely want to respect these people's privacy in this residence and it, this just butts up right against their place so I gotta be incredibly careful here so excuse the shoddy camera work for a moment I'm gonna have to just be plain respectful <laughs> but right here is a really huge issue See, not only has the wall itself broken through, but it actually has caused the earth to then rush this way, taking this stone with it. And just down this tiny little pathway here is our final section in this area at least. You can see we're literally like 20 feet from this person's property and about 40 feet from their house. So again, it seems a little bit claustrophobic in the angles. You'll have to forgive me a bit because I can't just be filming this person. And, well, they're not outside, but I don't want to take that risk or make them feel uncomfortable in any way. We're just here to document this historic place here and again major stress crack there that has caused the dirt to fall and start to push this down into the creek bed below so and you can see the other side here where this top level had already cracked through and probably actually a sign of bigger damage of this side altogether but it would have been quite amazing originally. It would have been this kind of tiered system and it looks really neat. But I don't think it's completely beyond repair at this point either. And it's still interesting that it seems even historically maybe this was kind of a decorative edge here and all the names yet are still this way but it might be because of the direction. Whoa, that's unusual. Uh, so that's it appears like something hit it at high force I don't know if that's a sign of a gunshot or somebody it may be a, like a sledgehammer you see another like heavy impact mark right there I don't know if you guys know what kind of damage that is, especially those of you out there, and I know that you're out there that are more familiar with the aspects of these type of stones, or these markers, I should say, they are metal. Um, let me know. But it appears to either be gunshot damage or some sort of blunt force damage. But once again, we can kind of continue on down this hill here. There are a few older items down here.
does, however, look like maybe because of the nearby residences, uh, the edge work is being looked at pretty often. So it, it appears that they're catching things before they kind of disappear down the hills or into brush where they couldn't be recovered or at least potentially not soon enough before they got completely buried in the dirt. Oh, I thought I heard a bigger animal, but it is very tiny. I think it might be a chipmunk. Well, really what's still amazing is that uh, we've only so far gotten the edges. Everything in the middle there is almost untouched by the, the camera yet. Lots of damage here. Now this appears to be mostly damage to the base. Uh, it looks like Either there had been some restoration work at one time, probably more likely restoration work than original work, but they had what appears to be prepared, preparing for the eventual erosion damage that you see here. And so they tried to reinforce it and had a, as you can see, varying degrees of success, but Really, uh, overall, it did do its job. You can see it's still standing just fine. So, to lose just this tiny little section here is really not a huge deal and can be repaired quite easily. That's another interesting name there Gratia. And the fence goes all the way over here. There's another creek. You can see the brown water is kind of running through there. Nothing incredibly interesting to zoom in on. And it looks like the fence just barely is about 10 feet that way. And I don't see any anything to indicate that we should really even expect lost things back there. It seems more like this place is suffering from damage and erosion than, and I say damage and erosion because, you know, damage can come in many, many other forms. So, but a beautiful area. Another one of these trees. I don't know what kind of tree. Whoa, I almost walked over. And it'll be very close. You can see how this can easily blend in. And I can't see a date. There, I can see where it should be here. And then the only thing I see is a one. So, I don't know, maybe somebody might be able to see it in post. I really don't know. I kind of doubt it at this point. But, there is another tree here that seems to be a popular variety to leave a mark on. A little animal trail going down here. And definitely appears to be taken, I think that's raccoons or rabbits, I don't know. That might be deer actually. It does look like a deer trail. And yeah, I can't really read it. It almost looks like somebody tried to draw California. It's kind of hard to stay back here for too long though. The mosquitoes are just terrible. Even though I guess we're close enough to the uh, to the water. more recent work. And like I was saying in previous episodes, you can kind of guess at the age just by how thick the scarring is. You can see that's probably from, it looks like 2009. And it's fairly thin and as it gets older it kind of spreads out as the tree grows and gets more kind of uh, 
scar tissue, if you will. A massive family section coming up here. It looks like all these are together. I don't know about this one right here. ones are a little bit hard for me to read here. <laughs> and down at the very edge is another smaller retaining wall here. Some signs of something here, a base stone. And then there's a bunch of debris here. I can't tell if it's maybe just something that animals have done and uh, the weather's done over the years or if maybe they're trying to clear it out. But it does seem to have been cleared recently by something. Maybe it really was some landscapers that came through. It is a fairly big area as you can see. And over here we have our golf course parking. Uh, there is signs of something here. To be careful, there are animal holes, but there is some cement there from something that used to be right over here. I don't see any headstones that have slid down the hill, but straight ahead you can tell that they've added this chain link fence to avoid that. Um, at this point, it'd probably be pretty rough to actually be able to find anything. Excuse me, there's so many mosquitoes right now, it's nearly unbearable. Unusual here. This almost seems out of place. Usually, when you see stones like this, you see more next to it. Let's see if that matches. No, We're looking for a lip key. That's Bertram. And this is their family section here. Interesting. And so. Maybe, okay it is, it just is missing a few pieces in between and connects down. Looks like, nope, actually that, I thought that was it for a second, but that is not, that is different too. So there must originally have been a lot more right in this area here. As that one singular memorial there seems to be directly connected to a very specific family. Well, this is just so big. And there's a big break in this fence down there that I was wanting to check out because it looked very unusual uh, when I was looking up information on it. So, I don't know what this, oh, this is like a midsection to a memorial, something that would go like in between the little decorative like round top piece and the base.
Wow, more buried here, or partially buried. Kind of interesting in that case how the two, which seem to have been built in the same way by the same person, have suffered the almost the same exact issue. Almost like maybe they got a bad, not really bad, but uh, it was done with the same slab of stone, and so it kind of had the same sort of fault line running through it, maybe, or maybe it was the way that that one artist um, did his work. I don't really know.